Oh, Shortbear here with another Code Wars challenge. This one is a level eight uh, and it's in Python and it's called Twice as Old. If you want to try the challenge, there's a link to it in the show notes uh, before you watch the video. Uh, so your function takes two arguments. You want the father's age and then the current age of his son. You're going to calculate how many years ago the father was twice as old as his son or in how many years will he be twice as old. Well, this one's going to be tricky. All right, so let's see. Okay, so first off, we need to figure out how old dad was uh, when the son was born. So age at birth uh, is going to be equal to uh, dad years old minus son years old. Okay, so then uh, current age of father, current age of son. How many years ago the father was twice as old as his son? Or in how many years will he be twice as old? Okay. So twice as old is going to be age at birth times two. OK, so now there's two conditions here. Either the son is already uh, more than twice as old, or, or sorry, dad is already more than twice as old, uh, or he hasn't quite hit there yet. So if, uh, let's see. Okay, so if dad, if dad years old is greater than twice as old, let's say greater than or equal to, I'm not quite sure. This is probably going to be a longer one. Uh, we're going to return. So dad years old minus twice as old. Okay. So if dad is currently older than he was when he was twice as old, then we're going to see how many years ago this was. So that's basically the equivalent of this. So then we've got an LF, or we can just do an else here. Uh, so now we're going to return. Uh, so how many years until he's twice as old? All right, so I guess we could do twice as old minus dad years old. If this works, I've got a way to shorten this up. So I'm going to try it out here. Probably broke it. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, so the simpler way is we could just return the absolute value since uh, we're just subtracting two things. Let's just return. Python has an absolute function. You should return uh, those two. We don't even need this condition. So let's try this one out. Test it again. It's a great thing about testing is you can try out new ideas and if it still works, it still works.